picking baskets from the willow that's in the wetlands over yonder. In the summer of the year, I do anything, almost anything, Kitty, for coinage. Whereas I'll do anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't like it. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't like the sounds of her. No. <laughs> and then in the fall of the year, I go to uh, Titchfield. Are you any of you familiar with Titchfield? Mm -hmm. Be the Abbey that you know, or Place House as I do know. And across the other side of the road is the grammar school. So I worked in the grammar school at the end of October and November, December, and then. <laughs> Fantastic chocolate. Love me. We'd just like to wish everyone a happy Easter from Charmaine Flores. Good day to you and welcome to Little Woodham, which is the 1642 village in Rauner. My name's Mistress Kizzy and I'll be taking you around the village and introducing you to a few of the other villages. Right now, though, what I'd really like to show you is our privy, which is just over here. As you can see, it's quite basic. We've got a few leaves in there, which um, we like to use. Good day to thee, Master. Are you interested in having a new cottage built? Because you have found in me, Kenno Greenwood, the best master carpenter in all England, if I do say so. My sons and I can come to your village and we can build you a two bay frame in just six weeks and all we charge is five pounds for our labour. And we'll make sure that the carpenter, the, the sawyer sells you good oak and that good oak will last you forever. And I can recommend a good thatcher, we'll put on a good reed thatch and you'll have a good fine cottage. Of course you have to do the wattle and daub yourself but that's very easy, you can get all the villagers to help thee. So I'm just finishing this new alehouse if you do wish to come in, I will show thee. As you can see, it is a very large and grand building. The present alehouse is much smaller than this, and the alehouse mistress is not content. She will have a bigger and better alehouse. So she's borrowed much money from the farmer, and maybe given him some other favours, I do not know. But anyway, She's got all the money, so uh, she set me to work. And now this building is constructed much differently to all the others because here we have these large crux. These crux, as you can see, give you a very high roof. When I was a young man, you could get curved crux and then the purlin would go directly onto the crux. But nowadays, all the tim curved timbers are being taken for the shipbuilding. And so we have to make do with these straight ones and then put straps out. And these cracks are very heavy. I had to hire 10 men to help me raise them up because they weigh half a ton each. But having got them up and then put the earnings and ridge on, it was a strong frame. Nothing will hurt this. And we could build the rest of it around quite easily. So you can see we have a large building, a high solar. You can stand up in the solar quite easily without banging your head. So we have a separate room on the end, which the alehouse mistress will rent out to people who are passing through the village, like the barber surgeon or the scribe. They just come for a day or two. They will rent the room and sleep on the solar. And in here, we have a large room for the alehouse where she can entertain many people with ale and good food. I've almost finished it, as you can see. I'm just making the last few shutters uh, and then I have to make some steps for her to get up to the solar and then it will be complete. Now of course this has cost her a lot of money. Bricks are so expensive. These bricks are fair and reds and they're two inches thick as you can see which is what Queen Elizabeth did decree. Before that bricks were any size you like but she said I don't like this higgledy piggledy from now on, all bricks must be two inches thick. And so there they are. And we still use them even though she's gone. Well, my sons and I aren't brick masons, but you can't get brick masons down in the country. So we had to do it. And you can see it's not perfect. The joints aren't even uh, and it's not quite straight. 
but I think it will stand there forever. We have a good hearth and a brick oven and she can cook good meals here.